Welcome to Admissions and 15 Adventures. And hello everyone, Howard Cosell welcoming you to the 13th Battle of the Network Stars. I look forward to the formal introductions of my talented co-hosts, as well as the 24 stars who have gathered here once again to compete for their respective networks. At the moment, however, the start of the first event is fast approaching, the Swimming Relay. We are, as always, at Pepperdine University, high above Malibu Beach in California. Let me quickly run down the rules. Five members of each relay team, at least two of whom must be women. The first four swim one width of the pool. The final competitor on each team must swim over and back. Now, let's meet the contestants. For ABC, leading off veteran of last battle, John James Dynasty. Then comes Heather Thomas, fall guy. ABC captain TJ Hooker himself, Bill Shatner. From Patty Duke Aston's new series, Helen Hunt. From Tales of the Gold Monkey, Steve Collins. For CBS, leading off Penny Pizer, the blue and the gray. From Bringing Back Alive, Bruce Boxlight. And Joan Van Ark from Knott's Landing. A new member of the cast of Dukes of Hazard, Byron Cherry, and from Simon and Simon, Jameson Parker. Starting off for NBC, that captain from Hill Street Blues, Mr. Daniel J. Tramonti. One of his fellow officers on Hill Street Blues, Betty Thomas. From Little House, a new beginning, Melissa Gilbert. The newest member of the cast of Chips, Tina Gale. And finally, from Little House, a new beginning, Dean Butler. And so there they are, ready for the swimming relay and the start of it from left to right, John James Penny Pizer and Danny Travante. And the starting gun quickly to the lead. In the far lane, John James, as you can see, building up a lead. Penny Pizer and Dan Trevani about even. John James, remember, one width of the pool. In goes Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas, an excellent swimmer. But Heather Thomas being quickly overtaken by a brilliant swimmer, Bruce Boxleitner. Boxleitner getting the lead. Boxleitner touching off and giving the lead. But Joan Van Ork in the middle lane for CBS, as you can see, was in the water. She can barely swim. She is being easily overtaken by Bill Shatner. Shatner building a lead. Joan Van Ark struggling for her very life. And Melissa Gilbert passing Joan Van Ark quickly into the water for ABC. Helen Hunt maintaining the ABC lead. She is a good swimmer. Tina Gale was off second. And finally, Byron Cherry. But Cherry is a great athlete. And Cherry is gaining ground now for CBS. And finally, the touch off for the last lap. And in the lead is Steve Collins for ABC. But look at Jamison Parker, just sensational gaining on him. And look at that racing turn. Parker continues to gain on Collins. It's going to be nip and tuck, touch and go. Shifting tides, ebb and flow. Collins holding on, holding on. Parker coming up. Collins holds on. ABC wins. CBS is second, and NBC is third. But can you imagine, as we look at that finish again, just look at Collins holding on, holding on. Parker desperately trying to gain, but no go. Can you just imagine? I waited all my life for this. Uh -huh. You did, huh? Yeah. Well, I want to tell you something. I, mean I didn't think right you were going to live long enough to win it. I don't want to do it again, I'll tell you that. CBS closed with a fierce rush. Did they? I'm glad I couldn't see him. I tell you, they did a remarkable job considering Joan Van Ock could <laughs> barely swim. Well, we had spirit, though. We came out here all last month, worked out. We looked good in spring training. We had desire. We stayed free of injury. Thanks, oh, <laughs> Let's get over and meet our commissioner. C commissioner Cooney. Excuse me. Commissioner Cooney. Our commissioner, of course, heavyweight contender Jerry Cooney. Jerry, did you see anything that would be grounds for a protest? Everything was great. They, they, they all touched the mail, came the ABC camera. As you look there, panoramically, at the course itself in the great Pepperdine Pool, you start at the other end. 
come up, negotiate around those buoys, and then you go back. Negotiation of the buoy may be the key task in the whole thing. There are penalties for interference with another kayak. No one may touch the kayak except the outgoing and incoming rowers. And you must be pushed off by the previous rower. That's Penny Pizer and her team. Penny leading off is CBS. Dean Butler leading off together with his team for NBC. And leading off for ABC, Heather Locklear, they're her teammates. So we get ready for the start of the kayak relay. And they're off quickly in the lead. The gentleman in the middle, Dean Butler. Good strategy normally to start with a man against two women, build up a lead that way, and it's working. Penny Pizer off straight and easy, taking over second place. Heather Locklear beginning to become a distant third. She approaches the buoy. And Debbie, you remember what it was like to try to negotiate that buoy. Look at Butler. Yes, Dean has really negotiated a good lead for NBC. He knows how to work that paddle. So NBC's strategy with the man first is paying off. Butler coming in with a handsome lead. In second place, Penny Pizer. And now an increasingly distant third, Heather Locklear of ABC. And in comes Dean Butler, Betty Thomas jumping into the boat. Let's see how the push-off goes. Indeed, it goes very well, as you can see. The CBS boat has just come in, and Cherry of CBS is taking off. Now, it's ABC. Locklear out. Collins in. And Collins a distant third because of Locklear's poor start. Now, Betty Thomas in the middle lane is being caught quickly by Cherry of CBS. And it looks to me, Debbie, like he's going to take over at the buoy turn. I think so, Howard. Cherry's a wild man in that kayak. Look at him. Turn that corner. Total confidence as Collins is beginning to gain on Thomas. And so the NBC lead is now totally gone. NBC is third. Collins is second. But first, off by himself is Jerry of CBS coming in to finish the second leg with a big lead over Collins of ABC and Thomas of NBC, now a distant third. And the pass off. In goes a young lady from Knott's Landing, Joan Van Ock. Excellent push off. Joan Van Ock having a little trouble straightening out her boat. You know how tough it is to keep that boat straight, Deb. A good push off is vital to going in a straight line. And getting a good push off is vital right now to Ricky Schroeder, but Ricky is skillful with the boat. The push off from Betty Thomas is good, but it's got so much ground to make up, or water. And now negotiating the buoy and very successfully is Joan Van Ock, but catching her is Heather Thomas, who's doing a whale of a job. Notice how the gap has narrowed. And coming up, trying to make a creditable showing, Ricky Schroeder, he's been practicing secretly with this boat for a couple of weeks. And Schroeder goes around, still a distant third. Thomas gaining, gaining on Joan Van Ock. But Joan Van Ock will finish the third leg with CBS in first place. After that, it'll be Dobson against Shatner. And there is Dobson getting ready to go into the boat. Dobson falls out of the boat the way Shatner did a year ago. Remember, Deb? Yes, Shatner's getting a chance to make up now. Oh, look at him. He's a He's doing exactly that, and quickly he has the lead. Dobson is off course. Dobson having all kinds of trouble. I don't know what he's laughing about. He's blowing the race. Chatna in firm control. Chatna building the lead. Look at the determination on his face, Debbie. He even turned back to see what was going on with the competition, Howard. He certainly did. Now he's around the buoy. He's got his kayak well in hand. Dobson is still struggling. And Melissa Gilbert of NBC is way out of it. But even she is now catching Dobson, who had trouble negotiating the buoy. Look at Melissa, Deb. Melissa is terrific. I think she really is experienced in this event. But gliding in now. So cocky. Look at him. <laughs> Bill Shatner. Oh, he stopped paddling out. Look at that. What a, what, a, what a showboat, Deb. The man's a showboat. ABC has won the kayak relay. Dobson's still fighting it. He's having trouble. Melissa is catching him, but it may be too little too late. 
CBS will finish second, but just barely a great effort by Melissa Gilbert. So, in comes Dobson, CBS second. Let's talk with the winners. I mean, I mean, what a guy, team! What are you trying to do? Have We're, a monopoly here? Well, a menage or something, a five, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you, you moved in with such a hey, Lon. grace, yes. Well, I, I picked up the team. As in, and we have a marvelous team. I thought you were, and we're so all trying scatterbrained, to. you were going to collapse your boat, to be honest. No, a collapsed lung, only. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations. And Heather, you pulled it together just beautifully. Not like last year. Huh? Well, last year I blew it. I had it. but you were firm and steady as yes, you go. Yes, yes, all that. The lock lid. Yeah, the lock lid, yeah. You did a heck of a job in there. And Steve, you're becoming a star athlete. Oh, my God, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Tune in tomorrow. NBC and CBS have died. How to resolve that die? Let's go over to find out from Commissioner Jerry Cooney himself. Hey, I can't believe this. We're waiting now. The dispute, it ended a tie. What are you going to have them do? Well, they're going to, both teams are going to play one play at a time, and they're going to, first team that scores will be the winner. You feel that's the fair way to do it? I feel it's the only way to do it. Now, what was all this stuff on the sidelines? You oh, began to look like John Madden when he was coaching. Confused. They tell me this way, it's going to be this way. They tell me over here. I'm going over here. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going back to I don't know. Uh, well, you can see this commissioner is in sore travail. Are you enjoying it? I think it's great. It's just great to see all these actors and actresses come out and play and have a good time. It's nice to be with you, Howard. Good to be with you. The thrill of victory the agony of defeat. Yes, I, I know the former, you know the latter. <laughs> <laughs> we pick up with the action, three on three football, tie game, and the playoff. Each team will alternately run one offensive play until the tie has been broken. Two plays have already taken place, no score. CBS on offense, Dobson with the ball. He throws to Terry, complete, but don't be misled. It was completed outside the five-yard line, no score. Therefore, the play is nullified. Now, in slow motion, you see clearly Cherry outside the five between the five and ten. So, no score. Dobson on the sidelines, exhorting. NBC goes on offense. And if NBC can score, they win the playoff. Warren, the quarterback, dodges the designated rusher. Lost the ball to Melissa Gilbert, who drops it. Had she held it, NBC would have won. But let's look at this again in slow motion. Disconsolate Melissa Gilbert, of course. Watch how carefully Warren uses a soft touch in delivering the ball. And yet Melissa dropped it. So, CBS will get another chance on offense. Five yards and turn around. Both of you go five yards, turn around. Turn to me, okay? Five yards, turn around to me. First step. Five yards, turn around. You heard Dobson. Trevanti will be the pass rusher. Dobson, the quarterback. Joan Van Ock to be the target. The ball lost it. Overthrown. Joan Van Ock was free. Dobson knows he overthrew the football. Now, Warren, together with his receivers, Tina Gale to the right, Melissa Gilbert to the left. Tina Gale to be the projected target this time. That's the designated pass rusher. Warren back to throw. Looking for Tina Gale, dodges the pass rusher, who claims he tagged, but he didn't look at that. Ball fumbled in the air, and then caught and held. Penny Pfizer tried valiantly to defend, but that's it. NBC wins the three-on-three -three football competition.
each competitor stands behind the mound and gets three chances to try to hit the target and make someone go into the dump. Now we have John James here, but this is the real fun. You get to pick who you want to dunk. Oh, he's got Christopher Norris. <laughs> she looks really cheerful, right? She's ready to get wet. Calm <laughs> down. Okay, so he's going to get three chances. Now, if he hits the target and triggers the dunk, that's three points. If he hits the target without triggering the dunk, it's one point. So let's see what happens with old cute John James. He's still dirty from the football. Okay, John. Here we are. The only defense the person has in the dunk is to distract the thrower with their body or their mouth, and Christopher is doing a lot of talking. <laughs> That was exactly right, Debbie. No score for that. The ball hit the railing and then hit the target, and that caused the dunk. And great consternation on Chrissy's part. Under any circumstances, no score. Irrepressible Debbie Allen is with me, and Dean Butler gets into the dunk tank. Helen Hunt of ABC about to take aim. Good throw, Helen. Great. She did nick the target, and down went Dean Butler. He had had an easy confidence. You could see it in his face until suddenly he realized what was happening as he went down. So, ABC finally scores three, John James having earlier failed to even score. Next time around, Deb. Helen goes at it again. This is not an easy event, Howard. Women don't have a lot of experience throwing baseballs, I don't think. Oh, I know some who do. <laughs> anyway, Helen missed. Now she's down to her third and last throw. She's scored three points. Just missed. Not a bad effort, Deb. Nope, and Dean is happy about that. Oh, but well, she got him anyway. I love it. That's great. <laughs> He's a good sport, Howard. He is. He's a good guy. Hope his show succeeds. Yeah. Now, here's Steve Collins, and this guy is a very, very good athlete. And he picks Danny Travanti, captain of the NBC team, to go in. <laughs> oh, he's such a showman, Howard. Trevani is something more than a showman. He'll have a lot of fun. He'll have a lot of fun in that dunk tank. But throughout his whole life, there has been a lot of struggle, a lot of hardship. And he's a man who cares, cares deeply about his profession, cares about his own standards. Told you Collins was a good athlete. Travanti takes it in all good will. Look at him. Strongly built fellow, Deb. Isn't he, though? All those muscles are so well developed. I asked Dan what he does. He said he's just built like that. He was kidding you, Debbie. I touched earlier on some of the travail that he has had in his life. This man is all strength of character. He knows what it is, as you see another hit there by Steve Collins. He knows what it is to undertake a physical regimen that would put him in the kind of condition you see him in now today. Yes, of course, he knows what it is to be a good sport, but he knows what it is to be victimized by a terrible disease, the disease of alcoholism and to fight back from it. Oh, they're clowning around down there now. Kevin Dawson's got Jerry Cooney in the dunk tank and invited Howard to come up and throw at him. All right, Howard. Get down, Howard. Oh, but Cooney refuses to go down. He won't let go. <laughs> Howard is tough. He hit that target the first try. Too bad he's not on one of the two. Teams. All right. Oh, the kid. Ricky Schroeder tried to get him. Cooney still won't go down. He refuses. <laughs> Look at how he's having a ball. Now you know about so called athletes. Schroeder. The kid got him. Oh, Ricky's having a great time. Look at him. <laughs> 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Cooney. Cooney's threatening Schroeder. <laughs> That's terrific. Great fun. So the two beauties are up in the dunk tank. Both Heathers. And the throw by Byron Cherry promptly sinks them, but look. Heather Locklear's leg caught. Quick moment of worry. Apparently, she's all right. Let's look at it again. Notice the way that left leg was caught. Fortunately, she didn't go all the way to the bottom. And checking her as she got out of the tank, she seemed perfectly all right. Only a mild scratch. Three points for Byron Cherry, a total of six thus far for CBS. Debbie, I must say Heather Thomas is a good sport as Ricky Schroeder comes up to take his shot. <laughs> I say, I agree with you, Howard. Ricky's ready. Look at it. His spirit's up. Ricky Schroeder He's calling Heather back. Good Lord. NBC throwing now. CBS out of it. Six points as against nine for ABC. Hey, what's up the freeway? I guess that put the kid in his place, huh, Deb? I don't know. I think Ricky is ready to get Heather. Oh, down she goes. Quick hit for Ricky Schroeder. Obvious that this is an advanced young man for his age, apparently in terms of sophistication, having selected Heather Thomas as the donkey. But it's getting competitive now, too, Howard. NBC needs these points. They certainly do. If they can win in this event, they'll be right on the heels of ABC and will have passed CBS. Kid's got a good arm. Heather's good at distraction. Body and mouth. Look out, Ricky. Now, watch out. Watch out. Don't hurt your it again. Six points for Ricky Schroeder and for NBC thus far. And a thoroughly doused Heather Thomas comes out of the tank. Oh, that resignation, that look of utter resignation as she goes down. Well, and now, Ricky's such a gentleman, he's going over to see that she's okay. I wouldn't be that confident with him if I were she. <laughs> <laughs> he's eight going on 28. And that's right, Howard. Here comes another honey, Tina Gale, the former Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, the heroine of the football competition. She selects John James, draws the usual oohs and ahs. Remember, ABC leading in this event with nine points, and already NBC has six. So they're on the verge. NBC is. Never. Hit. Look at the reflexes. Debbie got rid of the cap in time. Never say never, Howard. <laughs> Look at it again. Very quick reflexes. Good timing. John James is something. So already NBC is in a tie with ABC in this event. Let's see what Tina can do now. Close. What a miss. <laughs> what? Nope. Tina scored three points. Again, the NBC total, the same as ABC's nine. And Dean Butler will be the final dunker. <laughs> Well-built kid, too, this guy. I want Christopher Norris up there. I want it right now. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No, no problem. We'll see if there's a problem or not, Chris. I know how this works now. Remember, she started no this problem. competition as the donkey. Remember, Deb? Yeah, she went down real hey, fast. You know, I mean, I think you're cute, but never. 
Hey, this is serious now. Getting's getting. But this event is critical for NBC. Two out of two misses. It all comes down to this. He did it all right. His new show, Little House, new beginning, and he's given NBC a new beginning. They are trailing ABC at this point in time. By only 25 points, they have forged ahead of CBS. Let's get on with it. The obstacle course event, the dangers inherent therein. Penny, I'm sorry to disturb your warm-up, girl, but this is your first time competing in a battle, your last time on the obstacle course. In practice, what is it that's going to give you the most trouble today? Breathing. <laughs> breathing is what I'm worried about. That, that's really it. It's breathing and keeping my shoulders down from around my ears. <laughs> well, if that's your biggest problem, I think you're going to do fine. I hope so. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Daddy. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Girl, now you have been doing this obstacle course since you were how old? Nine. They told me that you own the course, that you sketched it out. <laughs> Pretty much so, yeah. It's, it's been quite a few years. I'm 18 now, and I'm, I'm the fastest I've ever been in my life, so. So you don't feel like, you know, a few years is going to slow you down. The experience will help. I think so. My legs are a lot stronger, and I'm a lot tougher than I was when I was nine. I think I got it. All right, Melissa, hang in there. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we're ready for the start of the race. Melissa Gilbert to the left of the screen. Penny Pizer to the right of the screen. The start is whistle. We're ready to go. First, under that ready, obstacle. Ready. More difficult for Penny. She's got greater height. But Penny is maneuvering well. They come out together. They get to the tires. No problem for either at the tires. Now the monkey bars, usually a problem for everybody. Then to the short fence for women. Melissa over at first. Penny Pizer gaining on Melissa now. The water jump. Now the stretch. And Penny Pizer picking up ground on Melissa. Close, tight, finish. Now let's look at that finish in slow motion. Very good effort by both girls, obviously. And in slow motion, Melissa to the left in the stretch, apparently having a slight edge, but watch Penny's knees. Melissa Gilbert is declared the winner with a time of 24.53. Originally, Penny Pies had 24.52, but she got a three-second penalty, making it 27.52. For what, Penny Pizer asked? Well, let's find out for what. It happened on the first of the monkey bars. She was supposed to clasp the first bar firmly with at least one hand. According to the judge, as you just saw, she failed to do so. The men's first heat in the obstacle course event. Byron Cherry to the left, Steve Collins to the right. Ready for the starter's gun. And they're off. Collins the taller man. So Cherry picks up immediate ground under the trampoline. Cherry building the lead. Now to the monkey bars. A problem. Had to go back. Penalty flag went up. You saw it. Over the high fence, as the men must do. And off by himself is Byron and Steve Collins. Appears to be a distant second. But we must solve the problem of the penalty flag. And that decision will have to be up to the commissioner. Let's look at it again in slow motion as Cherry approaches the monkey bars. And there you see, he only touches two bars, goes back for a third. Let's see. Commissioner Cooney. Takes <laughs> up, Just a second here. <laughs> we'll take his all on. We'll take his all on. Commis Where was the penalty? Commissioner no Cooney, what were the penalties? The penalty, as far as I know, to this point, was going over the bars. He fell off the bar, and he, and he forgot to grab the bar that, that he uh, fell he, off on. He went back and got it. Well, you, grabbed, you grabbed the last bar. You're supposed to that's, grab that's the bar the one he fell missed. off on. So there were two the penalties on the bars. No, no. No. One penalty on the bar. What was the other penalty? 
The water jump was the other penalty. Where's the penalty on the water jump? Men cannot touch the water, Captain Dobson. Women can without penalty. Men can. Huh? That's the end of that. There'll be no protest on this event. Five feet past the water. You gotta be kidding. He didn't hit the water. Where'd he hit the water? Dobson is insistent. He will not have the protest turned back. The crowd exhorts him on. Time then to take a look at the water protest and the action in slow motion. Now watch closely. Here comes Byron Cherry. The rope is grabbed. Over he goes. He apparently did not touch the water. But you have one of the oldest questions in sport. The penalty stands. How many times have you seen a player called out when you swore he was safe? That's the way it is. That's the commissioner's and the judge's decisions. That's Jamison Parker of Simon and Simon getting ready for the third men's heat. And that's his opponent, little Ricky Schroeder. And this should be a very interesting contest because Ricky plans to build a lead with a smaller size under that trampoline. We're ready for the starter's gun. And they're off. And Ricky, as expected, goes right under, but doesn't quite build the lead he expected. At the tires, Ricky begins to build the lead. Astonishingly, look at him on the monkey bar, still ahead. But now the high fence, and that's a problem. Jamison Parker gets a big lead there. Over the water jump, and Jamison Parker will win. Nonetheless, a very, very sterling performance by little Ricky Schroeder. Let's talk to them. What a tremendous effort by little Ricky Schroeder. Unbelievable. Jameson, congratulations. That little kid gave you some go of it. Ricky, come here. You deserve special. I didn't think you could handle the bars. You handle them terrifically. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you thought you'd make up the time under the net. That would ultimately beat him. It didn't work out that way, but you deserve special congratulations, Ricky. Try my best. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. Gave me an impetus, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I thought he was going to use you up. You <laughs> look afraid, afraid I, of the kid. I was afraid he was going to chew me up and spit me out. <laughs> So there are the respective times, and Jamison Parker the winner, but what an effort by little Ricky Schroeder. In the finals, it'll be Kathy Masnick against Melissa Gilbert, John James against Michael Warren. And look, there he is, Damon Wilson, the spirit of the Battle of the Network stars. Suffered a dislocated shoulder earlier, back to participate anywhere he can, if he can. But now to the finals, the women's division, Deborah Rue, take over. Kathy, yeah. you did so well in the preliminaries. I did okay. You flew across that wall, girl. First time, I thought I did okay. You know, but I got to try and meet a veteran here, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, good luck to you, girl. Hold Thanks. on. Thanks a lot. All right. Melissa, I don't mean to break your concentration, girl, but being an old pro at this, you really are great. Your, your preliminary was terrific, and Thanks. how do you feel? Really, honestly, even though I'm an old pro, scared to death. Yeah, it was very close, wasn't it? Well, um, my time isn't close to hers. I beat her by quite a few seconds. My other time was real close, so mm -hmm. I'm still a little nervous, okay. but that helps. I always do well when I'm under pressure. Okay, good luck. See you later. Okay. Okay, we're now ready again for the starting gun, the women's final. Gilbert to the left and to the right. Her opponent and her opponent, Kathy Mason. Chatner didn't even have enough confidence in her at the beginning of the competition to use her. But look at Mason go. She builds an early lead. She's over the tires. And Melissa Gilbert had trouble with the tires. The monkey bars. And Kathy Masnick is in the lead over the short fence. Look at that jump all the way over the cushions. The water jump. Melissa Gilbert trying to close in. The battle is intensely close. Masnick, the apparent winner, tumble over. She's a gymnast. Wow. I don't believe this one either. Kathy, come here. Melissa, are you all right? 
Melissa, can I bring you over here, dear? Kathy, congratulations. I can tell you immediately that Melissa got a penalty on the tires. I fell on the tires. That's what, what fell it? you up. You're getting like Mike Warren with the tires, Melissa. Yeah. I'm sorry, dear. The pressure. But I must congratulate you, Kathy. Hey. It's a superb run for it. You were uh, overlooked in this whole competition. I didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> Mike? Yes. Quick question. You had a little trouble on the tires on the preliminary. Your feet are not any smaller <laughs> now. How do you feel? What do you think is going to happen? My feet aren't smaller, but my shoes are. I put on an eight, and hopefully that will do it. Okay. Good luck, baby, and I do Thank hope you. you win. You're NBC. I can't help it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> John? I know you're concentrating. I know you're really ready to get this over with. But tell me, last year you went up against ex-football champ Mark Harmon. This year you got this tough uh. Mike Warren, ex-basketball player. And at the end of this, you're going to have to talk to Howard Cosell. <laughs> How do you feel? It's a tough day out here in Pepperdine, I'll tell you. I, I don't know. I feel a little tight. Okay. It looks okay. pretty mean. <laughs> it looks real mean. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Okay, you. okay bye. No strategy? No strategy. No strategy indeed, nor did he need any in the preliminary qualifying heat against Mike Warren, who kidded then about wearing shoes too big for him. Well, he's in a size eight now, and there'll be no kidding. He had terrible trouble with the tires then. He will probably be cautious, seeking to avoid that trouble now. We are getting ready for the start of the men's final. John James to the left, Mike Warren to the right. Under the net, Mike Warren doing well there. But cautious on the tires, James gets the lead. Now to the monkey bars, James pulling away over the high bar. And then the water hole, then the stretch, and John James has done it. Incredibly, he has beaten a great athlete from UCLA. I don't know what's going on here, Warren. But first of all, John, apparent congratulations, but I think Thank that you. you got a penalty on yeah. the tires. So we're going to have to see. Do you think you got a penalty on oh, the yeah, tires, too? You know you do. I got a penalty on, on just about everything. <laughs> Couldn't make it over the wall. How do you account for your total breakdown in the clutch? Uh, <laughs> about 36 years old. <laughs> oh. Now, let's get the official times. Captain Shatner of ABC, assuming that his team has won the competition. He was wonderful. He, he was, was fantastic. In the meantime, oh I must say, your leadership doesn't speak well for itself. Yesterday, you wouldn't even use Kathy Masnick, and she sat down and cried. It's true, and that gave her the impetus to win this race. Oh, that was your thing. It's a whole plan planning. Are you oh, kidding? Howard, you're blocking me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe twice around James finished ahead of this extraordinary athlete. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean that James is an extraordinary athlete as well? What it means is, for the first time in his life, he's come <laughs> Coming up, tandem bike race, tough event. Listen. When you guys want to check, that's actually going to go. Going around those turns, going around those turns, communicate with one another, talk to one another, tell them, tell them to push, tell them to push, you gotta push here, we need these points, we have to win the next two events. Control your breathing. No pressure, but it's all on you. Is it good for you? It's the way it goes sometimes, you know, but you're used to that. You're a good athlete. Let's ride an anchor for the other teams. You got pride, you got pride in yourself, so let's go for it. And there he is, Damon Wilson, Heather Locklear, his teammate. There is Kevin Dobson, and he's with Delta Burke. And after that, Danny Travanti and Lee Taylor Young. And we are ready for the start, the first leg of the tandem bike race. The start is gone. And they are off. A good push off for CBS. Captain Kevin Dobson and Delta Burke. They are in the lead. 
And what do you think about at this stage of the race? The very beginning, you're in the back of that tandem, Debbie. Oh, Howard, what you're thinking about is coordinating that pedal action and sustaining the balance. It's really tricky because you've got two people that haven't really worked together before, and it can be dangerous. Dobson's job to keep the spirit of CBS up. They are all but out of it. In the meantime, incredibly, Demond Wilson, together with his partner, Heather Locklear, trying to take the lead, trying, trying but not quite able to do it. And NBC in the rear, but on the inside and saving ground. And Debbie, when do you begin to get tired? Well, how you don't get tired. You really pay a lot of attention to that first front rider. Like Mike Warren right now is talking to Tina Gale. He's telling her to stay with it, to push it. They know they've got to get through this lap so they can get on to the double lap to finish off at the end. You're right. They're in the second leg. And Mike Warren and NBC have taken the lead. As you can see, ABC is second. CBS has fallen to a distant third. For ABC, it is Shatner and Hunt. For CBS, it's Box Leitner and Norris. But for NBC, it is Mike Warren and Tina Gale. And they are doing some job. They're approaching the end of the second leg. And for the third leg, they have to go two times around. Two laps. And this is some task, Debbie. Yes, it is, Howard. I did the same lap in the last battle with Mark Harmon. Okay, easy, and this Heather, is easy. when you really start to easy maybe now. get a little tired. Okay, nice Around that easy, second easy, lap, easy. the thighs start to tighten. But you listen to your partner. Okay. He's going to keep you driving. Listen to them. They're going to be talking to each other. Okay, down. Down and go. That's John James. You were just listening to down and go. But how do you catch that okay, NBC team? How do you catch those two, Dean Butler and Betty Thomas? John James and Heather Thomas trying desperately, but unable to do it. The lead lengthening out. That has to be a tribute to the NBC pair of Butler and Thomas. That's right, Howard. And you know, they're going a lot faster than what it really looks like. It's really scary out there because that bike could slip from underneath you in one second if you're off balance. They are way out front, way out front. They've got a huge lead over ABC, and CBS is all but out of it with Jameson Barker and Joan Van Hart. This, then, is a victory for NBC. We can safely predict that now. Coming around again, pouring in by themselves, the victory for NBC. And there is ABC grimly hanging on to beat CBS. And CBS is dead. No chance to be in the tug of war. It will be NBC and ABC. But CBS will have a chance to retain its pride, self-respect, and honor in the running relay. In the meantime, the winners, Dean Butler and Betty Thomas. We got it now. That's it, stay with us all the way. <laughs> and now, Howard, in slow motion, the second lap, the real transitional lap in this race in which Mike Warren and Tina Gale pedal a winning lead for NBC, a lead the other two teams cannot recover from. But let's go to the real story, the recovery, the comeback of Demond Wilson. I'm with him now. All right, well, Demond, you were terrific. You were flying. Yeah, How you I, came back. I feel good. I feel good. I'm taped up and I feel real great now. We're looking forward to the uh, the foot race now and the uh, tug of war. All right, All right terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Next to the cinder blocks, and they are off. Ricky Schroeder falling quickly behind Demond Wilson. Demond Wilson in an early lead, but quickly passed by Kevin Dobson. Ricky Schroeder, short legs, little kid, couldn't stay up there. The pass off, Delta Burke in the lead. Kevin Dobson had given her that. But look at Heather Locklear passing Delta as if she's standing still. We go to leg three, Steve Collins in the lead, but not for long. 
Watch Jamison Parker go. He is gaining on Steve Collins with every stride. Remember, this is at 220 yards. And Jamison Parker is about to pass Steve Collins. It's Jamison Parker on the inside. And Steve Collins second. But coming up on Steve Collins is Dean Butler. And he passes him. And so the handoff. And Joan Van Ock in the lead. And Kathy Masonet running with the speed of the wind. Catching Joan Van Ock. Kathy Masonet passing Joan Van Ock. ABC in the lead. CBS second. NBC third. And there's the handoff. And it's Helen Hunt in front. But Helen Hunt faces a new challenge from the long striding Penny Pizer. Penny Pizer closing in on Helen Hunt at the pass off. It's almost even. And look, there they go. The anchor leg and Byron Cherry passing John James. This will be the showdown. It is between these two. It is a test of stamina, a test of will at 220 yards. And John James trying to pass Byron Cherry. Not able to do it. He is fought off by Byron Cherry. Byron Cherry and CBS win. And John James is second. And NBC is third. And what an evidence of character by this CBS team, which will not even be in the tug of war. Kevin Dobson gave them a pep talk before the race. They responded. They are what the battle of the network stars is all about. That really makes the competition. You had to show him we could do it right. We was robbed. You did it right. You couldn't penalize us then. We had to depend on our own pride. And we're very proud of we're ourselves. Still we're still I want to tell you something. If ever a team did show the kind of spirit that infects this competition, you fellas just did. You girls do. That was just terrific. Great race. What a final leg. Hey, Byron. I thought James had you there. I did too. I did too. Just terrific. Mariah, you can be proud of your daddy. He proved he's a good captain. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. is really meant by the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Why don't you run over and have a word with each of the contestants? Okay, Howard. Okay, Deb. And while you're doing that, Debbie, there is the marker that is the key to the tug of war. The starter has it. That marker must be pulled back past your own red flag for victory. The tail of the scale, the two teams, 781 798 weight edge okay. to NBC. Bill. Yes. You're going into this with four consecutive battles passing without an overall ABC team victory. Do you think you're going to pull disgusting. it out this time? Disgusting. It's disgusting never to have won in four times. Are we going to pull it out? You're going to see. Okay. Hey. Hang in. Heather, are you ready? You bet. Okay. Steve, how you feel? I feel pretty good, ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Hi. Hi. Are you gonna do it? You gonna do it? We're gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna get mean. <laughs> John. Baby. It's a lot of responsibility, honey. You're the right there. You'll be in the pool first. How you feel? I don't think I'll be in the pool first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dean, a lot of responsibility here. You're standing right here at the edge. How you feel? It looks closer than I thought. But we're digging in. We're ready to go. All right. This is it. Okay. Lee, have Thank you done this before? No, I haven't. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Mike, how you feel? Sweetheart, this is going to separate the men and the women from the men and the women. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Tina, right next to Anchorman Dan Trevani. Right. A lot of responsibility. How you feel? I feel great. I'm ready to do it. All right, girl. All right. 
Dance. To get out of the way before I get pulled up or back. I want concrete poured right here, about a foot and a half high. Dan, right, last please. year you were right here, the same Quick spot. Did concrete. you did you learn anything from last year Just that's going to help you this to year? Do this ever again? <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Oh, I think I know. Good luck, Dan. Thank you. Dan Trevani is there because of the spirit that infects these stars once they begin the competition. We are ready for the starters' whistle. Commissioner Jerry Cooney right behind the starter to oversee thing. Remember the object to pull that marker past your own red flag. And with it, the victory. The victory in the total competition in the battle of the network stars. John James, the lead man, pivotal man on each team. The lead man, the anchor man, both pivotal. Dean Butler, there, the lead man. Will Shatner, anchor man. We are about ready. Shatner and Travanti, anchor man. The starting whistle, and away they go. The faces tell the story in this. Almost immediately, the agony of the effort registered in each and every face. Travanti, the anchor man, remembering the way it was the last time out. James, hoping that he won't be the first one in the water. Each side being exhorted as ABC gets an early edge. Look at Helen Hunt. Ricky Schroeder counting for NBC. And on the ABC side, their own counters. Heather Thomas, the beauty, not so lustrous now. There is pain instead. And Tina Gale, the former Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Dean Butler talking to his own people, looking backwards as above them. Melissa Gilbert and Betty Thomas count in unison. The cheerleaders pulling for ABC. Travani trying to dig in the rope around his waist. Butler pulling, pulling, tugging, tugging. Look at Mike Warren, the great All-America from UCLA. And look at Steve Collins. No gold monkey here. On his feet, trying to get new leverage. Heather Thomas with him. And the rope around that man, Captain Bill Shatner. And so they pull, and they pull. And the time goes on. The edge still with ABC. James changing his tactic, putting the rope between his legs, trying to use the legs for the leverage he needs. Lee Taylor Young, a classic soul of dignity, but not now. And Heather Thomas, the blonde hair sprayed all over her face. John James and Bill Shatner. The keys to the ABC team. Travani gradually being pulled forward. Warren, who said earlier, I'm 36 now, as if that's old. And they pull, and they pull. And there is the ABC edge. For the moment, at least, it could change at any time. James showing signs of fatigue. Who wouldn't? Under the stress and the strain, the water so close. How easy for Helen Hunt to give up. How easy for any of them to give up for Travanti. The man has gone through so much in his lifetime. Why this kind of pain in this kind of competition? Why? Good question. Steve Collins tells of the gold monkey. A good athlete. They're close now. ABC is close. Close to the victory. Maybe one more tug. Maybe just one more tug. Travanti without leverage. Looking upwards at Betty Thomas. As if to say, I can do no more. Helen Hunt hanging on. Trying, trying, trying. And they are so close. But Travanti will not give in. He will fight to the very end, as will Steve Collins. And Travanti 
is without leverage. And they are so close. And they have done it. ABC has won the tug of war. And ABC has won the 13th battle of the network stars. Total exhaustion has taken over Tina Gale and Dan Travanti. And look at Dean Butler. What a, what a performance. Wasn't this man? Oh, unbelievable. John, you wound up the hero of the Battle of the Network Stars. Congratulations. I thought you were dead. I am. <laughs> I am. Your last hurrah. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, that's fantastic. I, you know, last year I really wanted to be in this. And about halfway through the poll, I thought, why did I want to be in this? <laughs> it's really tough. They're really great. In slow motion, Dan Travanti, such a great person, such a marvelous man, trying, trying, and unable, finally, he had to give in. Dan Travanti! What? Are you going to do this I again? I told you I shouldn't be here doing this. Dan, you gave it so much, I saw you, you pulled the rope, you got up, you fell down, you Heaven went forward, you I came back. I tried. Back. We tried. I, you know what? It is worth doing. It hurts like... But it's good. No, I'm glad. ABC hasn't won in three seasons, right? Uh, four We're games. We're spreading it around. Four games? Yes. Well, that's why. <laughs> we let them. We, we decided to be good sports. I handle myself with the crudeness that befits a winner. <laughs> uh, I tell you, this is a test of character as, as well as strength. It was really an extraordinary thing. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like that. The amount of effort that had to be put out... And at one time, at the very beginning, I thought we didn't have a chance. They're all muscular and young <laughs> and former great athletes. I didn't think we had a chance, but this was the spirit, the spirit of, of this team. We beat them in every event that we, that, that we competed against.